Good morning from Trinidad and Tobago in the Southern Caribbean. This video is about backpacking and full-time traveling with a set of photo and film gear. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who have been watching for the last few months, this is a really exciting video because I have never really talked about all of the gear that I've been using throughout Central America um, and while on the road working. If you are new to this channel and you haven't seen any of the videos and you're interested in videography and photography and specifically creation while on the road for extended periods of time, then I think you're gonna like this video. Let's start with photography. So I have have a very specific photo setup. Um, I shoot primarily stills with the Canon 5D Mark III. I've had this for about three and a half years and it is pretty banged up. I think it's got about 215,000 clicks. So that is a lot of exposures, a lot of images. Also use this one for time lapse quite often. So that's probably why it's relatively high. I think Canon gives that 250 or a bit more uh, before it needs to be sort of uh, replaced or refurbished. I have got it serviced once and it still works absolutely fine. So yeah, Canon 5D Mark III is the primary stills. I've got three lenses with that camera. This is the 16 to 35 2.8 L, uh, fantastic landscape lens. I use this all the time. It is a very, very, very nice one. Second lens that I've got is this 70 to 200 2.8. Very, very good for wildlife, um, as well as uh, portraits. If you're looking at people from a distance, you can get some really nice depth of field with this one. Um, I also have the 24 to 70, but that is at home right now. I didn't bring it to Trinidad and Tobago. However, I have been traveling with that lens um, since I bought it for three years. So it's um, three lenses with the 5D Mark III. Also have a carbon fiber travel tripod. This thing is very, very light and easy to travel with. It fits into most day packs and definitely fits on the side of any day pack. It's completely foldable. I've had this for about two years, all types of conditions, and it's been very, very good to me. So yeah, carbon fiber travel tripod. Uh, filters. I travel with a set of Lee filters. Lee filters are made in England and uh, this is the foundation kit. Foundation kit runs for just over about 100 euros and uh, this little thing is the 82 millimeter ring and I use this ring for the 16 to 35 and the 24 to 70 lens on the Canon and then this guy goes on the outside to hold the filters. So the filters I have, I have a six stop ND little stopper. And this is especially good for long exposures, waterfalls, any coastal images. Very, very nice the filter here. <laughs> and then on top of that, I have one uh, six stop soft grad filter, which I also use a lot for sunrise and sunset. This also runs for about a hundred bucks. And yeah, very good for traveling. Like the two filters for me is perfect. I know a lot of, you could have so many filters. I could have this whole table filled with filters and it would be really great for capturing a lot of cool and different images. But for backpacking and for traveling, really just the, the two filters and the foundation kit is enough for me. Uh, that's more or less it for photography. I also have two spare batteries for the Canon 5D Mark III. So from photography, let's move on to videography and filming. So for filming, I have more or less this side. Um, this is the Phantom 4 DJI. Granted, I've had this for about two years. It's been really good to me. I've got a Spanish drone pilot's license, which has allowed me to work a lot in Spain and mainland Europe um, with this drone to get some really good contracts um, and a lot of beautiful footage. I know a lot of you guys who are watching this video, who have seen the videos that I made in the past, you guys love the drone footage from Kyrgyzstan to Venice uh, to you know anywhere in Central Europe and Central America. It has done a phenomenal job. However, 
it's a little big. The Mavic Pro is definitely better for traveling. Phantom 4 is an amazing drone, but this giant controller and this really square size makes it hard to backpack with this. And you know, I've beaten the crap out of this drone too. I'm really surprised that it's still going and I think that it's probably gonna fail eventually. And as soon as that happens, I'm gonna buy the Mavic Pro or something that's even more compact by then. I also have a uh, Zhiyun Tech Crane V1.2 gimbal. Uh, they have released the version 2 of this and I think they're even coming out with a version 3 pretty soon. Uh, the version 2 I would probably upgrade to. I really, really like this gimbal, but it's only really good with the Panasonic GH5. It doesn't hold the Canon, not that I would ever really use it because I don't film with the Canon, but um, it would be nice to have a bit higher of a weight capacity for this. However, it does work extremely well with the Panasonic GH5, which Nelly is holding. Panasonic GH5 uh, comes with a kit lens, which is a Leica made Lumix 12 to 60, uh, fantastic lens, really good image stabilizer and works extremely well with the Panasonic because the GH5 is a micro th uh, four thirds sensor and it's cropped. This is essentially a 24 to 120, which is really nice to have uh, for running gun filmmaking and blogging and that kind of stuff. So good little lens to have. And then the Panasonic GH5. This is the Panasonic GH5 and Nelly filming. Filming with my iPhone right now. It is a great little camera. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty nice. The, I like the stabilizer too. Even though it's kind of hard to hold it straight, the camera does it for you. Five axis built-in stabilizer. And then on the Lumix, we've got this seven to 14 wide angle, which is extremely good for vlogging. And the microphone on top, is a Rode VideoMic Go with a dead cat. So that's the primary vlog setup right there with the gimbal and it's also extremely good for slow motion filmmaking. Now I wanna talk about all the miscellaneous stuff, the things that you don't really see. And you wouldn't think it's that much, but when you're backpacking, this kind of stuff adds up. So I'm just gonna show you. Oh, I've got an extra battery for the drone too. I forgot to tell you that. Um, external hard drive. This is a Lacey two terabyte external hard drive. Um, this is the Dell XPS 13. I also have a Dell XPS 15, which I use for 4K editing, which I'm not traveling with right now, but I often backpack with that as well. And Nelly genuinely uses this computer. Drone charging cables. The charging packs for the Panasonic and the Canon and then all this stuff are the additional cables that we need while traveling. The battery charger for the gimbal. These are the ND filters for the drone. Uh, this is a mini HDMI cable. This is for updating the drone. Additional super glue, always gotta have super glue. And some tools. And I think that's it. <laughs> I am missing a couple things. Probably the biggest is 24 to 70 and the Dell XPS 15 and the Pelican case, which holds a lot of the miscellaneous stuff. But yeah, all this stuff isn't actually that much. It could be a lot more, but I find it really convenient and easy to travel with. And it does get me all the range of shots that I'm looking for when creating videos and making photographs. All of this gear is listed in the description below. I would love to know what you think about it. Send me your comments, your ideas about maybe how I could make this gear more streamlined and better or what you use or if you have any questions about how I travel and backpack and manage to use this stuff. That would be awesome. It is going to change over the next year or so, I'm sure, but for now, with full-time traveling and full-time video creation and photography as the main source of income in the job, these are the tools that I use to make that happen. Thanks for watching, hope you liked it, and we'll see you on the next one.